What's going on, FA Nation? Jonathan Pemba here with James Grande. Welcome into the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS podcast and live stream for Wednesday's nine game main slate. Uh, James here, nice midweek uh, nine games, like we said. Uh, coming off a five gamer on Tuesday. Some top tier players once again uh, on this slate. Joel Embiid, questionable against Orlando, uh, but obviously coming off of a. Uh, a pretty big game once again, 30-11-5 last time out for JoJo. We got Jason Tatum and Kyrie Irving, the battle of the Brooklyn Nets versus the Boston Celtics, a little rivalry that they got going on between there. Kyrie Irving really playing out of his mind. Uh, Dame Lillard bounced back from his dead performance uh, the other night here, scoring 40 actual, 42 actual uh, going up against Atlanta. He draws Memphis this go-around. Uh, John Morant back up over 10K. Uh, we had a few slates where he was under 10K. He's at 10-4. Steph Curry popped off the other night. He's got Minnesota here at 10-3. SGA at 10-2 is your top uh, like six or seven guys all over 10K on this slate here. Uh, it should be a good one for nine games. Talk about like a slate from Tuesday where like we're looking for like we're trying to like figure out all right, Giannis or Jokic, all right? Or LeBron, Giannis, Jokic. Or LeBron. And all of them go for get, 60 plus fantasy points. All of them go for 60. And then you get to Wednesday and you're like, I feel like I can't go wrong in any of these spots. There's just stars of plenty. Uh, the point guard position, once again, just absolutely Loaded. just, yeah, now they're all over 10K. So this is going to be a fun slate. Um, it's been a fun, it's been a fun start to the week. Um, shifting over to Vegas. Let's see. Uh, Washington, Detroit, 236. Uh, Detroit getting six points at home. Um, Orlando, Philly does have a total surprise in there. 231. Philly, eight and a half point favorites. Running it back after the Orlando comeback the last time they were out, John. Um, Philly was up like 20 in that game, and Orlando came back and won due to yeah. Paolo Bancaro's uh, had a big game. Sacramento, uh, Sacramento, San Antonio currently slate high, 244 and a half. San Antonio getting seven and a half at home. Um, they've looked better. The Kings defense is non-existent. That should be a fun game. Yeah. Golden State, Minnesota, two thirty-nine. Uh, Golden State giving two and a half to Minnesota. Only two and a half there, huh? That's kind. It's of, pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean Minnesota's been pretty good lately, and Golden State doesn't win road games. True. 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 I think they're. I'm gonna look, but I think they're like. They won their first road game like in December, and that season started in October. Yeah, uh, they are seven and eighteen on the road this year. Not good. And they are the fi- and they're the five seed. So. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get into it here. You talked about the point guard Irving, Lillard, Morant, Curry, SGA, all over ten K. All of them very much in play. <laughs> how are yeah. you? I mean, how are you even ranking set, like this? ranking them? Yeah, yeah. I mean, all right, I got, I got. Here's here's you're going at, are you, are you, are you, like are you going SGA one or no? So I think, I mean it's contingent, but I think if there's no Desmond Bain, I'm going John Morant one. Uh, we've seen and, and look, Bain's there's no Stephen Adams. Yeah. yeah, we know Stephen Adams is out. The rebounds directly correlated with job. There's been no Desmond Bain. He has literally put the team on his back, back to back triple doubles, seventy fantasy points his last time out, um, three straight double or triple doubles. I think Ja would be one in a great spot against Portland. Um, we know Curry's a tournament play. I I keep playing SGA. He was one for nine in the first half or in the first quarter. Ends up 10 for 24. Gets to the line 10, oh, 50 fantasy points over 5x value. Um, I think he would be two. Lillard, and I mean, it's very hard to deny what Kyrie's been doing, but 10-8 just feels a little too steep for me against one of the best defenses in the league. I think Lillard would probably be three, Curry four, Kyrie five, and I'm mm-hmm. not. And then like the next year, not getting to trade at ninety seven. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the trade. You play Harden at ninety six. Yeah, I think we could play Harden at ninety six, uh, especially with JoJo back on the injury report. Um, I know he played through the injury, um, and he's been questionable. This will be his fifth straight game being questionable. Yeah. I feel like usually this does lead to like at least one absence, right? Like we yeah. saw Giannis questionable with the knee for how long, and then he sat like four games in a row. Yeah. 
not saying Jojo is going to sit four games in a row, but this could be a spot where um, they're only eight and a half point favorites at home. I mean, Orlando's, I mean, Philly's the number two seed in the East, if I believe, or three, right? Um, So could be a spot Jojo sits. If that's the case, I would love Harden. Probably can't get to him if, if Embiid's on the floor, though. Yep. Uh, the mid tier here is loaded as well. Chris Paul, De'Aaron Fox, Fred Van Vliet, all in that AK range, all very much in play. All in really great matchups here, um, in my opinion. I mean, Chris Paul has just been unreal since coming back to their lineup. Yep. Um, for him, you know, 49, 63, 42 of the last three. We've talked De'Aaron Fox coming off a 50 fantasy point game his last time out. Uh, and then Fred Van Vliet. Um, I mean, it's something clicked for him. Yep. About two weeks ago, it seems like, um, because he hasn't given you less than 40 fantasy points since January 16th. So now he's got Utah here. It is on the road in Utah. Um, but again, I'm fully expecting another really big game out of fan lead here at 81. You know what clicked? His name in trade talks, that he's going to get to go play for a contender again. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think Van Vliet is my primary target in this tier as well. Without OG Ananobi this year, 27% usage rate, 1.19 fantasy points per minute. Elite numbers, and you mentioned he's been tremendous over the last two weeks. And Utah is a, yep. as good of a spot as it gets. I don't know if we have a total. 230 and a half. That's kind of lower than I expected, but like Toronto's the one getting the massive pace spot. Toronto's the one going up against the bottom five defense. Yep. Uh, 7,100 could have a bounce back game here from D'Angelo Russell. Uh, you know, didn't have any steals in that last game. Shot the ball kind of poorly, but 71 for him. Uh, Celtics finally listening to the fans here. Malcolm Brogdon getting all the run. <laughs> uh, over 34 minutes now in four straight games for Malcolm Brogdon. Uh, $6,500. I mean, he's probably priced appropriately, but... You know, I, I kind of do still like the exposure here in this matchup against Brooklyn. You just have to worry, like, such high usage players that he's up playing with with Tatum and and uh, Jalen Brown. But, I mean, Brogdon at 65, we know he is very capable of filling up the stat sheet and, and scoring. Yeah, I mean, he just did it against the Lakers. 30, like you said, like, the minutes are there, the production's there. Um, you are 100% correct. Like, he's priced appropriately. But also, we've seen at times Malcolm Brogdon's like an 8K player. Yeah. So, um, yes, he's playing with two of the better offensive players in the NBA, but Brogdon's obviously not afraid of getting his. I, I like him at 65. Probably more of a tournament play for me than anything else. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, we were kind of, you know, being like, why are they playing White over the, like, no, no disrespect to Derek White, but, you know, Malcolm Brogdon here, you know? Is, like, I mean, yeah, this guy, yeah, he got $80 million yeah. as a second round pick, like, right. two years into his. Guy won the rookie of the year. You know? Yeah. Um, and I mean, listen, he's coming off the bench still, but he's just playing all the minutes. So, right. Uh, Sixty five hundred dollars for him there. Um, you know the, the the Pistons coming off of a game. You know, tough spot for them against uh, you know Dallas. Uh, you only got uh, Jaden Ivey playing twenty one yeah, minutes brutal. in that game, and he fouled out. Uh, I would expect the bounce back performance here at Ivey. I don't know if you want to pay the sixty one. Hundred dollars for him though, because I mean, like Mike Conley's at fifty six, Trey Jones is at fifty six, Alec Burks is at fifty one. Uh, same team there. I mean, how are you approaching this under six K tier for the point guard position? Yeah, I don't love it. Um, I don't love this under six K tier. Like Conley's in a really tough spot. Um, Killian Hayes, I guess, is fine. Twenty nine minutes off the bench, but is that correlated to? I think it has to do with Jaden Ivy. Yeah. yeah, right. So it's like. Can't really go there. Do like the minute, minutes out of Burks. Do like the production, you know. Um, you like the fact that he scored only seven points, took only eight shots, but he still got you 25 fantasy points. Like, that's still solid. We know he's better than that offensively. Um, I think we just go down to the sub-5K tier and, you know, Monty Morris is okay. Colin Sexton's okay. Mm-hmm. Jay Sean Tate is okay, um, but there's we can't play Knicks. He started. He's just not. Good. No, no. Oh my God, he is a zero. He's just not. This good. guy is a zero. We can't play. We'll we'll play Eric Gordon when we get to him in a second here. What about Ty Ty? He only played three minutes last game. I know he played a bunch in the in the Cleveland game. I didn't see he only played three minutes yeah, last game. Do so. too much there. Do they give Gordon shooting guard eligibility finally? Or what's the deal? Nope, still small oh, forward. Probably, probably still not. small forward. It doesn't make any sense. He's not small forward on the team, but whatever. 
Um, <laughs> all right, shooting guard position here. Uh, Anthony Edwards against Golden State. We talked about it the other day. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's on. He's in a. He's, he's just, in a. He's just. He's in a groove. He's just in another. I mean, he's in a groove. I I always forget what draft he was and what number pick he was, but obviously number one <laughs> overall two two years ago, last year, last year, two years ago. No, two years two ago. Two years ago. Yeah, we go with this every time he's on the slate. He's looking like it. He's looking exactly like the player that people thought he was going to be. Yep. Um, steals are great. Rebounds, assists. Look at the rebound numbers. Lost four games for him. Yep. Um, putting every back to back thirty plus in five of the last six. Oh, man, yep. I mean, just price price increase warranted for sure. Yep, hundred percent, hundred percent. Ninety eight hundred dollars at home. You mentioned Golden State's potential struggles on the road. He's playing, you know, a little bit better at home this year. Forty five fantasy points to forty two. Um, I don't think anybody outside. I mean, you're not paying ninety eight for Edwards though, right? On like a game. I mean, outside of a game stack, so maybe contrarian Anthony Edwards here. Definitely contrarian. Definitely contrarian. Because I mean, we just talked about the six point guards over ten k right. that like we. Yeah you probably figure has more ownership than him. Yep, I'm with you there. But, I mean, obviously he's done enough to, to break some slates. Agreed. Lately. Agreed. Uh, JB, again, him and Kyrie have that. I mean, they're they're like best friends. So, like, I don't know. You know, is there any sort of he, – he, one game against Brooklyn, did Tatum play in both of those games or did he only play in one? Tatum played in both. JB played in one of them, and he went for 65 fantasy points. So. I mean, he's really good. He is really, really good. 34, 10, I'm just, 2, 4 blocks, 2 steals. <laughs> like, that's the thing. Those are the things that, like, when you look at it, you're like, all right, not sustainable, like, not something that you probably I'll repeat. say this. If Ben Simmons is healthy for this game, Ben he's Simmons. Out. He's already out. He's already, he's already out. out. Okay, perfect then. He's already out. I was going to say, if Ben Simmons was in, he's the one that guards Tatum. Maybe that's why Jalen Brown exploded. You know, like, he just had the easier right. matchup. Yeah. Here. But I mean, Jalen has a good spot. It's a good matchup because they don't have anyone to guard him. I mean, Royce. Roy, does Royce it, then, then guard Tatum but, though? Right. It. I think it. They're in a. They're in a lose lose because they don't have Ben Simmons. Yeah. Like they don't have like the. Yeah, Joe Harris, Seth Curry them. out there, and Jalen Brown, yeah. and GGs. You yeah. Know? I mean, it's look. I I think. Every slate going forward, it's like the same thing with Jalen Brown. I we know. know he has the ceiling. Ninety two hundred is not like a comfortable price, but we know there's a ceiling, right? Like we know there's. Mm-hmm. 65 because he can go for 40 actual yep uh we've talked a lot of josh giddy 44 fantasy points against golden state the other day um it's all about shot drops for him if his shot and drops, the minutes and the minutes yeah, like what, what are we doing what are we doing yeah, that's fair what are we doing you know they limited him a bit down the stretch last year too um because you know he hadn't played that kind of workload before right Right. Um, you know where he was coming from, but I mean he's she's acclimated to the NBA game at this point. So, dude, like we gotta just take the reins off. Like this, OKC is literally a pretty good team. Like they're a pretty good team. Like, <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. They don't want to be that good yet. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. You know, like we we need a lot of the lottery pick. Like yeah. they already got it, dude. They already got it figured out. They literally have Chet Holmgren just like <laughs> sitting just on chilling. the sideline. Yeah, just... Like they they have what they need. They just like. Imagine like being a free agent and be like, hmm, like a good veteran piece. Like, where can I go? It's like come to OKC where there's three potential all stars for the next 15 years on yeah. my team. Yep, I, I don't argue. Anyways, great price at 7700 against Houston. Mm-hmm. Um, 28 minutes against him in the only other game he played. He had 27 fantasy points, eight five, 18 five and two. Um, if Bane's in, I like him against Portland, but we'll see. Uh, I told you Bradley Beal is eventually going to break out. Uh, yep. Twenty-one seven and seven. It's still not what I feel like is a big breakout game for him. Um, I still think it's coming. I'll still play him at seventy-three hundred dollars. I think it's another great spot. Yeah. It's a great, great spot. He went from players. the worst defensive team to the second worst defensive team yeah. in two straight matchups. Yep. So I, I just you know Porzingis coming back maybe helps out the assists. Obviously, had seven in that game. Yep. Um, you know, again, I just I think it's too cheap for Bradley Beal. Uh, they moved Bridges, the shooting guard, small forward, and it came off 50 fantasy points against Toronto for him. Yeah, he was uh, great. Tough. I mean, you know, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, Cam Johnson's here. He he had, Tor- a, little bit of a, he had a little bit of a lull, and then he's picked it back up 25 and 29 in the last two games. It's tournament play. We know, like, there's a ceiling, obviously, uh, but there's a floor. 
Sure. And I think like Booker not being there obviously helps, but like there might be an Aiton game that Aiton, like the Dallas game, Aiton went nuts. And yeah. I don't know. There's, I mean, in tournaments, it's fine. Yep. 17 three pointers the last three games for Clay Thompson. <laughs> so, yeah, he's, yeah. 6,900. I'm playing him over pool at this point right now, just the way he's going. Yeah, sure. Yep. Uh, Mid tier guys, Simons, Clarkson, Gary Trent, all, all good for you here. As long as there's no OG. Um, I think Trent can kind of just keep on going into lineups here. I know he's very scoring dependent. Yeah. Um, so maybe yeah. maybe you're you're a little worried there, but yeah, uh, that's that's what it is for me. Exactly what it is. Okay. And the price too. Like I, I don't think there's like leverage at this price sure. necessarily. Okay. Um, guys under six k for you. Mm. Quarter maybe fifty three. Yeah, maybe yeah. I, Coming off a bad game, and Malik Monk was really good. Yeah, only twenty two minutes were in there because Monk was lights out, right? So yeah, so that's that's the that's the one. If Hort, like one of those guys doesn't make shots, like if Keegan Murray's not making shots and Monk is, like Monk lo- or Keegan Murray loses the time, so we just have to factor that in tournaments only. Um, and then under five k, like hey Malik Monk, yeah, probably Malik, gonna go Malik Beasley also. The last two games for him 30 and 29 minutes, 29, 26 fantasy points. Yeah, this is a comfortable price too, right? Under 5k. This is like the this is where we want our uh yeah. our exposure, I think. Um to Malik Beasley. So yeah, I'm 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 good there. Uh Diallo probable coming off of an illness. But, I mean, he plays 20 minutes a night pretty much the last five nights, but 23, 16, 34, 30 fantasy points. I mean, obviously a big GPP play. Yep. Um, you know, but the guy's giving you 30 plus in two games back to back that he's played um, 7x return basically on there. So, yeah, you um, know it. Jeez, yeah. tournament play only. Tournament play only. Uh, anybody else here for you? I. What don't. do you think of Cam John, uh, Cameron Thomas playing 23 minutes there against the Lakers? Um, second leg of a back to back. It wasn't a back to back, was it? Um, no, it wasn't. I mean, maybe uh, no TJ Warren, no Ben Simmons, right. no Durant. Right? Same, pretty much same exact team. Eight of uh, thirteen same, shooting. Obviously, he knocked everything down. But and same, same could be said for Patty Mills. Like both those guys played a billion minutes, yep. and they both made every shot they took. So, yeah, I mean, like. Yes, no. <laughs> I don't like you know. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Like they're both so low. Turning floor. Dark, dark throw plays, right? Yeah, Matt. If you're making multiple entries, if you're playing one lineup and like either of those guys make it, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they get it. Yeah, single digit fantasy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, small forward here, JT at eleven one. I uh, went for fifty five fantasy points against the Lakers. Uh, again, I, I. It feels too expensive for me. But I get it. I get understand why he is the way. I mean, three straight games, double digit rebounds, thirty plus right. actual. You know, if he puts it all together, you know, he he can go for sixty plus on you. So I I, I won't tell you not to play Tatum. I just think he is lower on the totem pole for me on this slate. Yes, I agree. I mean, it's it's hard to. I think it's hard to get to Tatum when you look at like he's a game stack play. If you're playing Boston, Brooklyn, you get Tatum in there. Yeah, I mean, that's very... I feel like that's very hard to do, but I agree. Like, you play him in Claxton or something, right? Like, right. you play him... Like, it's but, probably... You I probably mean, can't play him in Kyrie. You might You might be able to because you're, you're then playing Seth Curry, Joe Harris, Brogdon, sure. probably. One of those, yeah. Grant yeah. Williams, you know. Um, Kuzma's at 87, but I think that's too mm-hmm, high. I'd rather mm-hmm. much play market, market in 84 or... Uh, our favorite player, Scotty Barnes, down to seventy four hundred dollars here as well. Yeah, it continues to just be awesome. Every no, slate, no OG in the lineup. It's working out for him here. Yeah, he just he's just so good everywhere, and it's hilarious if you ever look at like the rotation for um Toronto, Toronto because they don't play backup guards. They just use Scotty, Scotty Barnes, Barnes <laughs> subs out early. And then when Van Vliet, after Van Vliet, Van Vliet plays the full first quarter, Barnes checks in and he's the point guard. Yeah. Like they just, they play eight man rotation with three bigs as their mm-hmm. best. Like it's hilarious. Like that is the funniest rotation of all time. Yep. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I think Scotty Barnes is a great any format play. I, dude, Toronto today, especially considering like the rotation that they use, anybody, any of their guys. I mean, I mentioned I don't like Gary Trent, but like, there is a path. Like, this is a great yeah, spot. He gets them. steals and whatnot. Um, right. Back to back 40 fancy point games for Keldon Johnson. Again, I, I'd so rather play <laughs> 200 more dollars for Barnes or pay $300 less for Clay. Yeah, it's a great spot, though. It is a good spot for him. I, I do agree with you there. Um, Boncaro, does he run it back here? or uh, Good. Yeah. He could. I mean, he was literally the X factor in that game. Um, but 6700 for him. Cheap. It's a good price. It's a really good Cheap. price. Um, now here's the question if he's popular if like he comes out and he's like extremely popular is that just straight recency bias yes of course and then are you playing him no like well, if I'm he's gonna, like yeah, what... dude, i'm gonna keep playing city bay because there's no reason For not sure. to <laughs> right? like, yeah city bay's 35 awesome. fantasy points against dallas he's got he's got uh washington here i i'm why not under 6k for city bay he's gonna keep starting like let me let me in sure let me play some Sadiq Bay here. Uh, but, 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 let's see. Obviously, we have our Houston guys. Um, I played Denny. 10 Dude, he 12, is. 12, 12 shooting, 25-9. Uh, being price bump, but I I would throw a lineup in here right now the way he's playing. There was a Washington beat writer that was talking about Denny and, like, what's going on and they're talking about how impressive he's a lottery been. pick remember that right like, you know right and the offense was always the thing that needed to come around he was always the good defender the good rebounder they were talking about him and how impressive it's been like finishing at the rim mm-hmm. which i think is big for him um and we're seeing just kind of an evolved version right now so yeah i mean if he's going to keep playing 30 minutes i believe Gafford sat out, and I believe he's on the injury report again. Yeah, questionable with an illness. And I think Gafford being out would help Denny a lot because they could just slide Porzingis to the five. Yep. Um, but, I mean, if, if Denny's going to keep playing this well, he's going to keep being in play. I mean, I'm they, don't saying, have, they don't really have a better option over him. So Right. I'm, I'm just thinking, like, giving Porzingis those minutes at the five presents more opportunity for Denny. Yeah. Like in other places, especially since Porzingis spaces the floor, so like right. that's where all those rebounds I think are coming a lot of times for Denny. Um, you know, I jumped to Denny. KJ Martin's been playing really well. Obviously, yep. no Jalen Green and no Kevin Porter. He's got OKC. Uh, Eric Gordon at fifty three again. We're getting some sort of vintagey Eric uh, Gordon, I think, with those guys out as well. Eight of seventeen shooting. Um, Do you yeah. think Shingun coming back hurts them? Because no. Shingun off the injury report. Yeah, I don't think so as much because there's just so much volume from Jalen Green. Like, Shingun's still going to do sure. what he does. Um, so I'm fine playing both of those guys here. Okay. Um, you know, Jalen Williams is coming off a really couple good games here. 41, 20, and 31 fantasy points the last three. Uh, $5,300 for him. And then Cam Jay's wedged in the middle there. Um, not a good night for him against Toronto, but a tough matchup. Not a great matchup against uh, against Atlanta here for him either, um, at least in my opinion. So if you wanted to, you could, um, but I like all the guys basically around him too much. So I agree on that exact point. I yep. think it's all about the guys around him just being valuable, like yep. more valuable. Yep, that's where I'm looking at it. Uh, let's see. You got Harry B at five k. You got 149. Any other under five k guys that are on your radar here? I mean, pick the night that Kendrick Williams plays 30 minutes and he's going to get you 6, 7x. Doesn't exist. Right? Um, don't know when that's going to be, uh, but that's probably it. I guess if Josh Hart were to sit, we could play Nasir Little, um, but he has he has a very low floor. Yep. Um, is is uh, Robert Williams in or out? Do we know? Um, Rob Will is questionable. Okay. I mean, Grant played 39 minutes, so... Yeah, I mean that's and he's back down to four K. You'll love to see that. Mm-hmm. The forty nine hundred, never a price tag I would have ever gotten to. Right. Uh, we talked about that. Like that was just whether or not he was playing thirty nine minutes, <laughs> like that's just too steep. But sure. this price tag for sure. Yep. Um, all right. Let's power forward here. Uh at the top. We've talked about Tatum. We got Zinger at nine K. Uh I you said great leverage play for me against him uh, against San Antonio. Five blocks, three steals, nine rebounds, <laughs> seven assists, 17 points. 
54 yeah. fantasy points. Uh, and he's $100 cheaper here against Detroit. So, uh, great matchup. Detroit, one of the worst defensive teams against opposing bigs uh, in the league. So, uh, yep, if you want to spend 9K on Porzingis, more power to you. We've talked a lot about the other guys already. You got Triple J here. Uh, mm-hmm. I shared with you that Reddit post about uh, Jaron Jackson's blocks plus steals totals at home versus on the road. Uh, I mean, you're looking at the same sports yeah, I'm on the screen. Yeah, they are crazy. Right? 4.2 blocks and 1.4 steals at home versus 2.2 blocks and under a steal per game on the road. Uh, they are home here in this matchup. Sure looks he that went way. for 52 fantasy points against the Pacers with five blocks in that game. I mean, if, I'm, <laughs> sure looks that if way. I'm one to believe the home road splits here, uh, for those not familiar, there's a, a Reddit post out there basically saying the Memphis uh, official scorer is just giving Jaron Jackson sort of <laughs> blocks and steals to like help him win defensive player of the year yep. or something like that. Yep. Uh, exactly. And there's like a whole list of like video clips of basically times he was awarded questionable <laughs> blocks and steals. Um, but we don't care if they're questionable, not as long as they count because fantasy points matter. So uh, at home, $7,100 against Portland. Are you playing Jaron Jackson here? I mean, as long as we don't hear that that sc- uh, statistician has been fired prior <laughs> to the game, I will be playing him. Yes. If Desmond I mean, if Des- out again, you know? bingo, yeah, bingo. Yeah. And, and Steven Adams, like Jaron Jackson has, is the cleared number two option to Ja. He has time that he could play potentially at the five. I know they haven't really, it's been more of a split with Clark and Tillman, but like that opportunity is there for them if they want to use Jackson at the five too. So, uh, you know, I think there's, Nothing wrong going to uh, old Triple J, especially if uh, Bane's out. Yeah, $7,100 for him there. We've talked Scotty Barnes and marking it already. Uh, opposite, uh, opposite side of Jackson there is Jeremy Grant coming off a couple good games for him. Um, you know, probably maybe a fade just because Jackson is at home, you know, and you don't know how yep. those those calls are going uh, against him there. Josh Josh Hart returns. We talked, I said this the other day. Sure. Josh Hart returns, 12 rebounds for Hart, two for – and you were like, oh, Nurkic was out too. Both yeah. of them return. No Jeremy rebounds. Grant, two, two rebounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just can't get there. Um, how does Raymond match up here against Minnesota in your opinion? Uh, I mean, pretty good. They're starting slow-mo and McDaniel. So, like, good matchups in both cases for Draymond. I mean – defensively it doesn't even matter who's he guarding him because 19 actual against minnesota earlier this year i don't know what the hell happened that day I, I mean he's been better look it does not matter who's guarding draymond anyway right because six of seven don't... shooting six of eight from the line that night so just had his yeah, offensive just... yeah i had the <laughs> offensive hat on the for Bojo sure going, yeah. he's been good though like 12 assists, 9 re- I mean, he's been at 7 yeah. assists or more in 7 straight. He's been 7 plus rebounds in every game since they've moved to this centerless lineup. So, um, you know, he has to deal with Gobert. Actually, you're. I, I misspoke. He's going to be dealing with Gobert. He's going to be around the rim. Um, Gobert's going the Gobert to have one is a, why I was worried because there's the size difference. Gobert's going to have a monster advantage on him, right. like size-wise, so. Yeah. That is definitely something to consider. It's a good point. I didn't mean to miss over Andrew Wiggins, but he's $5,900. He had a little revenge game here against Minnesota. Um, Yeah, he looked good in his return back to the lineup uh, for that illness. Second time he's been out with an illness. Sure. Um, you know, he's... What is he? The four, it's just... I don't know what he is. Like, is he the fourth option on this yeah, team? Yeah, that's true. That's fair. He gets rebounds, though. He's good. Look, he's a good player. Last, I feel like last year was like he played out of his mind. Like that's what earned him like the All Star game nod mm-hmm. and everything. Now like Clay is back. Like Clay is back, back. Yeah. And Poole is now in the starting lineup. It's just Wiggins is just kind of like, hey, I'm over here, but I'm kind of also the oddball out type scenario. Yeah, if you're Houston, why do you you know? Do you not you just you just you're send, about to say it? I I know you just send Howard Eason back to the bench. Like, is that like what happens here? I mean, I mean, why don't they do this, right? <laughs> and it's your it's your it brings your Eric Gordon to shooting guard full circle. It's like right. you can even use Eric Gordon at point guard. Just yeah. 
start Eric Gordon. You have KJ Martin. You have just the biggest lineup of all time, but just have Eason, Jabari Smith, and Shingun. Just all start. Yeah. I, I, what? Where is the downside in that? I agree. Listen, I <laughs> I think Tyre Eason's still going to be in play here. I think he's going to play probably still just 25 minutes off the bench. I'm a l- l- I'm a little hesitant because the price, like, he's going to play... How many minutes does he play? I think he plays twenty. Not starting. I think he plays twenty-five. Even with Shingun back, because they haven't done that all. Like with a healthy front court, he plays twenty minutes a night. At least that's what it's been. Now, obviously, we haven't had a scenario where Green I and Porter have Green been out. Green and KPJ. KPJ. He's just been so good. But teams don't care about this. It doesn't like we care about his fantasy players. But you and I have been talking to Tyree Easton since summer league. You know, like right. as right. being it up comes and gets finally gets opportunity to play. He's double double every night. So I don't know. Just put him on the board as our guys that need to play more. You know, Danthy Melton Wall of play more. You know, true. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? That right. is the, that is a hundred percent correct. It's like our own Hall of Fame of this guy should this guy's a fantasy point per minute monster. Why aren't teams playing him more? Uh, I mean, Jabari's 56, K- dude, 56, 56, 54, KJ Martin, Jabari Smith, and Tyree Eason all grouped together because DraftKings doesn't know what the hell to do with them either. So, right. Uh, just kind of all sewn together. Uh, Jeremy Sohan, our boy, another guy coming through strong. 27 minutes against Washington there. 17, 2, 5, 27 fantasy points. 5,200 gets Sacramento this time around. He's averaging 25 fantasy points in two games against Sacramento. Um, I'm in. I'll buy into them again. Dude, he was off to such a good start in that game and then just, like, fell off a cliff. Like, the whole team did, but him specifically, like, just, I don't know what happened, but, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm definitely going back. So. And then Keegan, obviously, opposite, opposite of him. Another 35 fantasy points for Keegan Murray here. A double-double against Minnesota. Um, just yeah, the minutes are super secure, right? That's, like, yeah. the best, I think, even in that I mean, even in that you shitty game. that lottery pick at him. You know, he's not the one that should be sitting. True. But, I mean, I agree, but they are in the, they are like the three seeds. So like whatever they were doing was the correct, yeah. <laughs> the correct decision, I guess. Yeah. Um, but it's good to see even in the shitty game, three for eight from the floor with four personal fouls and 14 fantasy points. He still plays 32 minutes. Yeah. So like they're keeping him on the floor. Uh, who's been out lead to, to the Bates Diop recent production, or is it just their gift just playing them now? Um, so, He's starting because, I mean, I assume Vassell and Langford. Yeah, um, Langford, yeah. Langford questionable again. Josh Richardson is probable. The thing is, Josh Richardson was also probable last game and then scratched him. Okay. So, like, you know, take that with a grain of salt kind of thing. Trade deadline's in, what, two weeks? Week and a half? Something like that? So. Huh? Isn't trade deadline in, like, a week and a half? Trade deadline's very soon, yeah. Um. So, I mean, look, not free anymore. This is obviously a tough price to get to, I think, yeah, but um, 25 minutes in four straight games. If Langford's out again, I'm okay getting there. Okay. okay, I'm okay getting there. It's not like a how it was sub, yep. sub 4K. Um, you've been talking Boucher. He played 24 minutes against Phoenix, had 5 and 11. Um, 3,900 if you wanted to dark throw, probably. Dude, they just do, um, like, he's one of their eight right now. I mean, at least for right now. He's one of the eight guys that play, so, um. Any other power yeah. forwards for you? I don't think we need to go lower than Boucher. I think that's probably, um, probably as far down as we need to go. All right, center, JoJo's 11-2. If he's in, you run it back. 58 fantasy points against yes. him last time out. Yep, you can. Yep, I'm with you. Um, Sabonis is 99. It's under 10K. It is a good matchup, but you've talked it up a lot lately, you know, about him not paying off that price tag. I mean, people can keep playing him if they want. It just doesn't. Like, he even has the two blocks in one steal. And, then, you know, yep. we finally get the games where he actually has blocks and steals and he has no assists. So, and he, like, fouled, he fouled out. And he, fouls, and he fouls out. So, like, it's a great spot. Great spot. Good luck figuring it out. Yeah. I'm getting 9,400 for Siakam just because everybody else is popping off that, like, his numbers haven't been great. But that does kind of make him an interesting tournament leverage play. 
Because, you know, this could be the game where he goes for 60, you know? He's going to go off. This feels like a spot he's going off. Right. Doesn't it? It just, it feels like a spot yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, I mean, not not a front court you should be overly terrified about. <laughs> no. Um, Shingun, though, obviously, he's our, he's our yeah. guy here. Yep. Um, I mean, with no Jalen Green now, also, like, you should just have just, what's his, what's his usage rate? You want to pull that up? Yep. Like something in my eye. I don't know what it is, but it is like causing my eye to tear up here, man. I thought it was because uh, you're so excited to play El Perrin Shingun again. I mean, um, I am. So I don't know what the hell. The last like two minutes, I've had something like in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing at you. See me rubbing my eye for the last like five minutes. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. All right. Without Kevin Porter and Jalen Green this year, the usage rate is not as high as I anticipated it to be. Um, still good, twenty three point nine, one point four fantasy points. Well, that's where it hits, yeah. Yep. So, and it. What's it? Very... What's, what's his usage rate the last two weeks? Last, not, not necessarily two even weeks. with Jalen Green off the floor, but like he's been just these numbers are just popping lately. Yeah, the last two weeks. Um. So I took both those guys off. So I'll put I'll put them back on thanks to our. Uh, Friends at Roto Grinders and their Court IQ tool. Uh, so Shangoon's use straight over the last two weeks is just twenty two percent, but again, one point four fantasy points. Yeah, so so, so not, not a high usage guy, but a high productive guy. Yep, yep, high productive guy. Right, high productive guy. Uh, again, I've been playing his assist props at five and a half. Man, they just don't. They just look at him as a center and they don't touch it. I have to assume. That it's going to be bumped. But because he didn't play the other night, sometimes, like, these sites just are just, like, asleep. They're like, oh, he missed the game, right? And they just, like, don't right. touch. Um, so I'll be very interested to see what happens here with Shen Goon um, in that assist prop. Because, I mean, he hasn't had less than six assists since January 11th. Right. And yet it's consistently been five and a half. So... Um, just monster numbers. We're going to love him here against OKC. It's just such a... I mean, dude, 65 fantasy points against the Thunder in their last matchup. 21-19-7 in that game. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's just... And that wasn't, no, even, he's... During the, that wasn't even during the recent stretch. That game <laughs> happened... When the hell did that game... That game happened uh, November 26th. Just, Second month of the year. Like, absolutely. Yeah, like third, third, fourth game of the year, man. Like, just, just absolutely crushing it. Um, yeah, eighty eight hundred dollars. We're we're gonna have a lot of him there. Uh, also, I don't mind eight and at seventy eight. Been talking a lot about DeAndre Ayton lately. Um, yeah, got they got the Compella matchup, but um, I don't that's mind. Fine. I don't mind. Yeah, that's Aiton. fine. Yeah, I don't mind Ayton here. Um, go bear, dude. Go bear's been awesome. Yeah, you can go go bear. He has a. I mean, Where are they're the gonna box? play. Lo- <laughs> yeah, we're the blocks. That's that's right. Um, look, they're gonna play Looney in this game, but like, yeah, a lot of matchup. Yeah. A lot of this game where he's like eight inches taller than yeah. everyone else on the floor. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nurkic versus Brandon Clark. Thoughts on that matchup? Nah, I'm, dude, I'm done with Nurkic. Okay. There's foul trouble. There's illness. There's sick. There's injuries. There's like, get me out of here for now. You know, like leave leave me alone for right now. We got the five block game from Walker Kessler where nobody played him. <laughs> yeah, and Kelly O back. It's it's tough to use them right now. Yeah, Kelly O coming off the bench though. So or no, they st- or no, they started all starting of them. all three of them. Right, marketing <laughs> is like the the small floor again. Back in back to his Cleveland days. Um yeah, uh, Precious though. Uh, price yeah. keeps going up, but we'll 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 keep riding Precious right now, right? Another double Good, double. He's playing thirty minutes. Nope. Thirty mid thirties, double double in a million straight games. Like it just I. We said it the whole podcast. Like this whole Toronto team is just incredibly interesting. Yeah. Honestly, uh, not sure what to make of what's going on with Jalen Duran because they're not starting Stewart. He's coming off the bench. Um, Duran under thirty minutes in three straight games. The rebounds have fallen off. I'm not. I don't really know. Don't really know what what's going on with him. Fifty two hundred dollars. Um, tournament play probably won't have much ownership here. So. Um, if you want to give him a, a look, I think you can. Uh, same with Zach Collins. We talk about him every slate. Another 20 minutes. He's not going to play much more than this, but 16 and 11 Dude. in 22 minutes for 35 fantasy points. 
I don't know what's going on with Zach Collins, but it's been cool. I, I don't, I, it's just, again, this situation is super confusing because Pirtle wasn't in any foul trouble. They just didn't play him. Yeah. And then they just played Zach Collins. So I don't, I don't know if that game stays competitive. I don't know what the split would have been, but Pirtle played like three minutes and then they took Collins or they took Muffin and put Collins in the game. So um, I, I don't know what to make of it. Um, but yeah. Uh, I got no other centers here. I would play, I would consider playing Xavier Tillman. Um, why didn't you play Clark? About it. Was that just a foul Clark trouble? Clark got thing? massive foul trouble. Massive foul trouble. You think Clark was really good? Over Portland yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, I think that's possible. It's like, it's one of those things that it's a dart, GPP dart, and it's not anything more than that. Okay. And same thing with uh, Dayron Sharp, who probably gets back into the Nets rotation because um, there's no Ben Simmons, no TJ Warren. Mm-hmm. And Dayron Sharp. Darren Sharp is the Mark Williams ilk, right? Like all these very high fantasy point per minute guys when they get on the floor. That yeah, like he's their backup center. Basketball. He's their backup center with no Simmons. So, dude, eight, fourteen, <laughs> three assists, two blocks, and a steal in twenty one minutes. And if there's like, no Rob Will. The... He's doing that against what Cornette or Grant Williams <laughs> or something like that. Right? Yes, so... yes, yes. Um... That's so. I like again. Anything down here is like very. Risky, risky, but like what a if fall you're... from grace from our guy Bull Bull man down to thirty five hundred bucks. Uh, what does this guy have he to do? He was like an like... all star for like a month. <laughs> like... What does he have to do to play? Uh, he'll to be get into he'll be traded. He'll be traded somewhere. They gotta get they gotta so. get Jonathan Isaac up to seventeen minutes. They'll take Bull Bull's nine and give it to him. True. Um, True. All right, let's build. Um, what guard? What guard? Um, <laughs> I mean, I I would say Moran if we had more definitive news on Desmond Bain. It feels like Bain could return in this game. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just soreness in the right knee, right? Mm-hmm. It is a back to back for Memphis front leg. They they know so maybe he does sit. Who does Memphis play on the back to back? Um, let's look at the schedule here. Memphis on Thursday. Portland's plays... a, you know, a good matchup. Memphis plays Cleveland. That's the TNT early game. I kind of think they might sit down sit, um, for Cleveland. I was thinking they would sit. Well, because one, the, it's a Western Conference matchup for Portland. It's more important that's to true. win the Western Conference matchup than the Eastern. Yeah, Conference that's matchup. true. Where's Portland right now. I mean, Memphis they also could doesn't... they could sit Bain here and sit Morant or somebody on the, yeah, on on the, the Cleveland play. side. Yeah, if Bain plays, I feel like he's he's sitting Thursday, no oh, doubt. Yeah, coming back from the injury first off, then he injures his knee. Feels like a rest spot if he plays tomorrow. Sure. So you go. So there, Curry then. Portland is in the 12 seed right now. No, I don't know if that matters, but like you're, you're. No, like it, it is, is more important Conference. for Memphis to win Western Conference matchups than Eastern Conference matchups, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, you're not. It's true. Do you go Curry then? Is your uh, two point spread two thirty something total? You said. Yeah, 239, 239, two and a half. Golden State's giving two and a half. Yeah, we can play Curry. I'm perfectly fine playing Curry. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll leave it as we want Morant if there's no Bane. Curry's 100 bucks cheaper, so we'll go Curry right. for now. Curry, uh, Shingoon. Yeah, we'll go Shingoon. Who are our locked-in values? We have 5,100 to play right now. Um... um see here we had a couple guys we liked that were cheap sohan for 52 Grant mm-hmm. williams 4k oh, we, we like the chua the chua for sure so that takes up our util in our center then with shingun and a chua uh, grant is 4k we like this like low 5k small forward power forward tier Okay. 
Um, small forward year. Uh, Point guard value sucked. Shooting guard value sucked. We're gonna do Eric Gordon, right? Eric Gordon and Denny. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Denny's a power forward, so Gordon small forward, Denny power forward. The guard value sucks. Forty eight hundred a player for a shooting guard, guard and a forward. You could play I don't know if you want to play Boucher and Precious, but like Nah, what do you think about I mean Diallo's forty two. It's gonna be probable. I feel better Oh uh, yeah, Diallo's fine. I like Grant four K. He's gonna play Oh, loads of minutes if Rob will sits, right? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm okay with putting him in there. So, uh, $6,300 guard. Like, this is a zone we did not like. Uh, $6,300 uh, guard. You like Trent way more than me, but I I, I understand. I'm fine going Ivy get, and looking for a bounce back game. Or oh, what was Bay? We liked Bay. 58. 58 for a small forward. Let's see, what would that give us? A forty-five hundred dollar guard, Monk Sexton. Mm-hmm. on Wright, your boy. Does he get any steals this game around? I mean, he is a thief. If I've ever seen one. Um, well, we could so we could go Grant Williams and Jaden Ivy or Sadiq Bay in a forty-five hundred dollar guard. guard. 2,500 guard is Malik Monk, probably. I'm so inconsistent. I know, but it, I mean, it's a tournament. I guess Grant Williams is also pretty inconsistent, so. It's a tournament play. I, we also could do move play, off. Do you just play Sexton then, maybe? Could also, like, not go with a spend up and play, like, Van Vliet or something and just, like, over Curry and then just, like, fair, more fair and balanced. All those are. Or we play like Anthony Edwards as our top. It sucks player. that like it sucks that Siakam is a center only. Yeah, because we're playing Shingun we're playing and Precious. yeah, Precious. Um, would you play Anthony Edwards? <laughs> Probably, yeah. It doesn't really solve our problem. Like, this is a it, it doesn't. Yeah, this it, is it a doesn't. Five K guard. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's go. Let's check out Van Vliet. Let's we'll see. We play Van Vliet because I think we both like Van Vliet here. Mm-hmm. And a sixty still a sixty seven hundred guard. We got Brogdon, I guess. Brogdon. Yeah, Brogdon's good. Okay. So we're going fair and balance. Let's see. You know, look how look how the way the wind the wind blows on this one. So we got. <laughs> Uh, Van Vliet, Diallo, Gordon, uh, Avdia, Shingun, Brogdon, Bay, and Achua. 200 bucks left over. As you saw, uh, there were a couple pivots there. We had Curry could have played uh, Ivy with uh, with Grant Williams there. If you did want to get the spend-up play, uh, that also worked. I'll be on the playbook. You can find me in the Discord. James and I, of course, are always around with all of you guys. And we'll be back for Thursday. Good luck.